Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashwin and you're watching Starstruck. Today I'm planning to upgrade my 8-inch Dobsonian telescope. I've got a Skywatch up, 8-inch uh, Dobsonian. It's quite, it's a, it's a manual thing. So it, it's, it doesn't have any go-to or nothing of that sort. So you have to manually maneuver and, you know, go into the azimuth altitude to do the uh, uh, visual observation of the uh, the planets and a lot of the stuff in the sky. So the main problem of the Skywatcher 8-inch Dobsonian is it's quite bulky. It's quite bulky and it has got a lot of weight in it. So it's not possible to move around with the telescope. Like for example, if I have to carry it from my backyard, uh, from my garage to the backyard and start my observation, sometimes it's, it's it, I don't feel like doing it, you know, at times. So what I've decided to do is to upgrade it, uh, which means to make it easy. And the first step, which I'm gonna do is to put a castor rolls into the legs of the mount. So these are 50 mm uh, gray rubber swivel brake caster rolls. It's a 50 mm one. So it's quite uh, quite a weight, uh, heavy, and it, it will take the weight of the of the mount uh, of the telescope itself. Uh, there are other ways uh, to move around with the telescope. Actually, what you can do is you can unscrew the handles of the telescope i'll show you now and you can carry the and you can carry the uh the ota the tube separately and the mount uh, separately and how it's done just the way here is my telescope so you unscrew these two black handles Sorry about the noise. So you remove these two handles. You remove the OTA from the mount. Store it aside. And you've got a handle to the mount over here which you can get like this so you take it away put it where you want in your backyard in your front yard wherever you want to start your observation go back to the garage pick up your pick up your OTA get it back make sure it's aligned put it back in its place like that attach the handles I'm gonna make some noise make sure you don't tighten that too much now the second one and that's how you go with it But once in its place, you cannot move it around. So you'll have to again, you know, pick it up and start walking slowly towards the next destination, which is quite breathtaking. It's heavy. <sighs> okay, so what I'm going to do is instead of picking it up and moving around, I'm going to use these casseroles so I can just pull it or push it to the location where I want. Maybe from my backyard, from my garage to the backyard and different spots in the backyard itself. So let's go ahead, remove the scope, remove the back, uh, the, the bottom plate and then attach these casseroles. And also, as I said, I want to use the... Uh, the door stopper to use it as a handle and the place where i'm going to put out put it on is over here this black screw what i've done is i i took this black screw to bunnings 
and they've got these uh, uh, a thread plate you put the screw in to check the size so that's an m4 and i'm sure it, i need a 8 mm m4 one screw only and the door stopper i picked it up for just like a dollar and that's how it looks and it comes with this attachment so the screw goes in here to this point to this top and then this one gets glued onto this onto this one so that's the one and two step upgrade i'm gonna do with my dobsonian telescope right now and future going or in future what i'm planning to do is to get some setting circles to help me know where i'm looking in the sky in the night time so i'm going to print out a, a big setting circle over here with some marker and that'll help me to see where i'm looking at in the azimuth and for the altitude i'm going to put a magnetic uh, Anglometer, I think that's what it's called. I've, I've seen that on the on the website on Amazon, and I'm going to put that right on top of here or somewhere over here. That will tell me the altitude of the scope. And by just looking up on the chart or the uh, astronomical apps, you uh, applications, you know, it'll tell you. It'll help you to know which direction you should be pointing in altitude and azimuth to see a particular uh, object in the night sky. So let's get into it and let's get it going.
All right, so as you can see that the, the casseroles are on now and hopefully it should uh, you know, move around quite nicely. So let's see how it goes. like it <laughs> all right let's see let's let's put this uh, put the mount back on All right, so it's back on and uh, let's put the scope on top of it. Put the handles back on. So this one, the, the bearing one, it always goes to the right hand. Sorry about the noise. Now, let me tell you why, 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 why I'm doing this. You know, before this, now I can easily move around with this thing and just push it to a spot, move it around, lock the legs like that. That's done. Yeah, the leg should be around over here. Take it out. Lock it. It won't go anywhere. The only thing which will happen is it'll move it in the azimuth and the altitude. And supposedly the the object or the plan what I'm looking at is it goes behind the roof of the neighbor's house or goes behind the tree. I can always go here, unlock the legs, move it around to the, to the next spot, lock them in and start observing. The best part is I don't need to move around like in two different parts of this telescope. And the next one is about the, the handle thing. So let's do that quickly. I'll show you how I've done this. All right, I'm gonna use this small screw arrow. Uh, I'm thinking instead of putting this over here, I'll put it on this side. So I'm gonna remove the screw, so unscrew this one. Now this screw is quite tiny and small, so that won't go through the uh, door stopper uh, with the plastic thing, so I've got uh, a bigger one, which is this one. I'm not sure if it is in focus. No, not it. Not it. All right, that's that's there. I'll remove this. Put it inside like that. It's 
nice and tight this i will glue it later so this you know why i'm putting the handle this is the reason so i can just you know easily now it's not glued so it won't move this way otherwise it'll just come out but that's how so it's just making your life easy so that you don't lose the interest in this hobby so that's my thing that's part one uh, two of the things which i've upgraded in 20 dollars so hope you like it and i'll soon put out another part part two of the upgrade of the dobsonian and maybe later i'll just automate it by upgrading it to a go to a system something like that but i'm pretty happy with this uh, uh the 8 inch top i bought it on gumtree which is a uh, uh, kind of a facebook market over here in australia i live in melbourne I bought this score for $250, dirt cheap price, and the only part why I got it this at this rate or this price is the person I bought it from was moving out of the country and unfortunately he couldn't, you know, take it along with him. So yeah, I was, I was the lucky one to get a hold of it. So keep an eye on the market, you might get something like this. So until next time, clear skies to everyone. Take care of yourself and your family and stay safe. Good night.